five. Five. Good there boy. Go. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Rich. And this is Jamie. What do you got to say for yourself? Hold him up, because he's so cute. International Dog Day to all my furry friends. <laughs> la, 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 the... <laughs> okay. Is that today? Yes. Pretty cool. All right. Sounds like a good name Sounds for a like day. Sounds like a good name for a day, for sure. Yeah. Wednesday. You Wednesday's so... boring. It's overused. Yes. You look so pretty, Jamie. He just had a bath yesterday. He hadn't had a bath in two weeks. Ooh, what is that, I, huh? Yeah, I had a busy week last week. You know, I should have thrown him in the pool yesterday. You should have thrown him in the pool. I thought about uh, it. But anyway. Yes, we make it. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He's giving you the side eye. Mm. <laughs> okay, be like that. Anyway. I have a pocket full of cookies and you're going to get one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a show about knitting, mostly, mm. and yarn, and not so much about dogs, but it can be if you guys want. <laughs> I could talk dogs all day. So, anyway, I hope everybody's week was good. Let's start off with a good giveaway. So, Ooh. last week I had this gorgeous Ooh. DK, worst, I'm sorry, worsted weight, worsted. 218 yards. Um, Natology, and I think it's 100% Superwash Merino. It's gorgeous. And, it's and Worcester. Worcester. Worcester is in England. Worcester. Yes. It's also in New England. <laughs> New England Worcester. Um, anywho, so I did a drawing, and the winner is Cookie Smith. Congratulations, Cookie. You can email me, Sharon at knitstyleyarns.com, and I will get this prize out to you in this lovely seasonal Halloween bag that I've been using for my products. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I had asked everybody, what are you doing for self-care? I've been answering them. I will answer all of you. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on that. But right. Cookie said that she's a homebody like we are. She likes to knit, she likes to read, and she plays Animal Crossing. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yes. So do you. I play Animal Crossing, and our kids play Animal Crossing. It's actually, it's a good way for me to connect with our daughter who lives in another state now, because you can do a voice chat as you play, and you can visit each other's islands. It's super fun. And I try to play every day. I actually just did my nails, and I sit and wait for my nails to dry, and I play Animal Crossing <laughs> for half an hour. And yeah, I usually play for like half an hour a day, and it's just fun. My favorite thing to do is to plant money trees. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why? I have, I have a money forest on my island. Maybe I could put some footage in here of my money forest. We'll see. But anyway, that's my favorite thing to do for some... It's a quick thing. You can find the little money in the ground and dig it up and then plant a money tree. That's my favorite thing to do. Plus buying artwork from the art thief, mm -hmm. who's a fox, so. and which doesn't care. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys, if you play Animal Crossing, put a comment down below and tell me what you like to do in Animal Crossing. What's your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing is to turn it off. Yeah, Rich does not play video games. So, yeah, so anyway, send us your, get in touch with Sharon and send us an email and get your address here and we'll mail it to you. Yes, Cookie, thank and you. And maybe, hopefully, you'll get it before Christmas. No, I'm very good about prizes. I get prizes out within two weeks. Oh, so I usually... know, but I'm talking about the post office. Oh. Uh, well, I'm single-handedly funding the post office. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. So, support your post office. I need to buy some stamps. That's, I should do that. I should buy some. Because the stamps I'm using, I don't, I pay all my bills online, so I usually don't use stamps, but occasionally I have to use them. And I'm, I'm using Christmas stamps. <laughs> That's all I have. 
leave a comment down below if you can relate to that. So I'm sure some of you can. All right. So what's this week's giveaway? I don't have one, and I'll tell you why. Why? Tell me why. Because we are not going to be recording for three weeks. We're taking a break. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> we are going on hiatus, and the uh. reason... <laughs> I love hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason for that is I want to dye the Advent skeins for this year's Advent calendar kit, which I still have a few left in the shop. If you're interested, um, go there and, and buy them. They're going to come out beautiful, I'm, I'm going to say. I usually am finished by now. I, have, I haven't even dyed one skein for Advent. Maybe we should take four weeks. I ate it. I might. <laughs> we'll see. I might. I might. I shouldn't even say this because I don't want to promise anything. I might vlog in between once a week. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of work to do those because it's uh, it's a lot. It's I have to die. I, I don't even know how many, but many. <laughs> Hundreds of mini skeins. So I have myself on a schedule and I want to get them done so we can pack them and get them ready to ship. Mm -hmm. And we need, we need, this show, believe it or not, it looks easy. It's not, not at all. It takes, it's, it's a lot of prep work and uh, re sitting here and talking is fun, but then I have to edit it. And I like editing, but lately, um, Been having a lot. It takes a lot of time. What's happening is, when I updated my operating system on my computer, my software that I use to edit, which is Final Cut Pro 10, slowed down to a crawl, and it's giving me some problems. So I'm getting annoyed that's what, with it. That's what upgrades so, are for? Yeah. Downgrading your machine. Yeah, that's exactly Just, what happened. What, ignore that's, them. Really, well, I, I couldn't this time because there was other things I needed to do on that machine that required an update. Believe me, I would have left it, but I couldn't because I had to do our taxes. <laughs> and the tax software was like, nope, you need to upgrade. So that's more than you wanted to know. But anyway, it's taking me a little bit longer to edit and it's a little frustrating, but we'll get there. It's fine. But it takes this whole thing between the dyeing, the scanning, the labeling, the shipping, recording, Instagram. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. And I do it all myself. I'm a business of one. <laughs> so, and not that I'm complaining in the slightest. I love it. Believe me, I would not do it if I didn't love it. I love every second of running a business. I think it's amazing. But I do need time to dye these skeins. I, I don't have time to dedicate to other things right now. So it's just coloring yarn the next three weeks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll, well, well, it's gonna get hot. Well, no, maybe not too hot. Mm -hmm. In the low 80s, which that's, is fine. It's better than, that's Upper better. Upper 70s. Today is stunningly beautiful. Yes, it's nice. Not a cloud in the sky, mm -hmm. not hot, nope. not humid. Actually, I have a shawl on today. Because if you live in New Orleans, it's not a very nice oh, day. Oh, I'm sorry, And people. it's not even going to be, it's going to be going to get worse. I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who are in the path of They're saying that some places the on the coast there in New Orleans could get a 12 to 15 I, foot surge that's I, going to go 30 miles inland. I'm so sorry. I hope Jeez. you all are staying safe. I, I'm, I have, I'm very, Weather. my heart goes out to you. No matter how powerful you are, the weather will bring it to your knees. Mother Nature is mm -hmm. a biatch, I'm telling you. Okay, so... What do we got here? I'm wearing my wick shawl. I talk about the shawl all the time. I have, I have three of them. I knit it twice, and I had one knit for me as a sample. And this is my hand-dyed yarn. I have it, um, the orange obviously is Slutty Pumpkin. This beautiful purpley orange variegated is Halloween Town. And the, this bottom beautiful green, orange, black is I Put a Spell on You. 
so I believe I'm I knit this two years ago I remember knitting it when we went up to the lake house and I, I um, it only took me a week to knit it because that's all I was doing and I I adore this I actually have sets available if you guys are interested I have three skein sets in these very colorways this week and I will show you those in the uh, update section of the show more treats for the baby so I'm going to show you my slow, slowly developing knitting projects because I have three on the needles right now. I have, a te I have a test knit. Give me five. No. Give me five. Come on, give me five. Jamie, give me five. 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 Good there boy. Go. So I have a test knit on the needles that I will show you when the designer lets me show you. And I'm fine with that. It's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, of course, this is in the middle of a row, sorry. This is my Age of Gold shawl by Hohi Locatelli. And the yarn is Woolen Vine Yarns in Dirty on Purpose and Leaves of Three. I, and I'm just working on the Leaves of Three color now. And I'm loving this. This is just my car knitting um, because it's basically mindless. If I can remember to do increases, it's driving me insane. I can't remember to do increases to save my life. On this or the next project I'm going to show you. So the next project is Cinnabar by Andrea Maori. And it's growing very slowly. And that's because I keep ripping it out because I keep forgetting to do the darn increases. And I'm mad at it because I counted this morning and I missed two again. And it's my own fault. I need to count the row, increase rows after I'm done with them to make sure I do the increases. But I'm lazy. But it's beautiful. Look at it. The yarn is Spin Cycle, and the red is Devilish Grin, and I love how it it goes from like a burgundy red into a bright red, mm, and then to an pretty. orangey red. Yeah. It's a gradient. Yeah, why well, is there a hole there? Where? I was only kidding. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> so anyway, I I love this. It's it's fun, except I, I need to pay more attention to it. It's brioche. Brioche is... You need to pay attention to brioche. I mean, I've gotten it down now, but anyway. So that's what I've been knitting on this week. Okay, well, that's good. Now we're Moving right along. Moving right along. And what did you dye this week? Um, I dyed quite a bit. Uh-oh. So, first let me show you the yarn that I dyed for this shawl. Here's, oh. this is Halloween Town. For that shawl you're wearing? Yes. yes. Oh. This is Slutty Pumpkin. Slutty Pumpkin. And this is, I put a spell on you. I put a spell on you. So, I hold them right in front of the lens. There we go. Oh. So I have these as sets. Pattern not included. Patterns are never included in my knit-alongs. You can go to Helen Stewart's website, Curious Handmade, or you can find the pattern on Ravelry. It is the Wick Shawl, and it will be linked down below. And you can use these colors for any three-skein shawl, but I use them in this order. I started with Slutty Pumpkin as color A, color B is Halloween Town, and color C is I put a spell on you and that is a hocus pocus reference and I have to say this wick shawl is probably my most worn shawl I adore this shawl it is worn out honestly I mean, actually not really I wear it all the time and this yarn has not pilled I just showed it to us before I know but the yarn um so the yarn I just showed you is a singles base. It's my sexy singles. This is knit in, in 
This is knit in my um, MCN base. And um, I don't have any of the M MCN base right now, but I do have the sexy singles. And that's what I knit my last shawl out of the Helen Stewart shawl, the, um, the springy one, the stillness mystery knit along was out of that base. And it's lovely. I love it. It's so soft. So anyway, so I have those. Um, like I said, shop updates will go up as soon as this uploads. So everything's live in the shop right now when you're watching this. I have a bag this week. Ooh. Wait till you Halloween see. Bag. Wait, look at this oh, wow. one. Oh, does that go good? Look at that yarn Holy match. Holy cow, what a Baby. Match. That's like exact from the tans to the oranges to the browns. And the speckles, whoa. I even matched, I did, I I dyed the yarn the same color as the bag. So this this whole skein is, is dyed. I love it. I love how the speckles came out. Yeah, that's really. I love the shade of orange. Admit, Thank you. It's impressive. Thank you. This was a fun one. Donna, this is the yarn. <laughs> Donna couldn't wait to see it. I'm going to take a photo of it and send it to her because... I'm very proud of how this came out. Yeah. I love this. So I'm just going to call this witches. Yeah, well, what else do you call it? Witches. They're so cute. Look how cute they are with their long, long legs. They're almost like scarecrow witches, but they're so cute. I love them. And there's a little owl and they have long legs. It's adorable. So, um, if you purchase, the, the first person to purchase this will get the bag from me and the yarn. And then um, the other purchases, Donna will mail you the bag separately, and I'll mail you the yarn. And I'll also have the yarn available without the bag. You could dye that yarn exactly again. Huh? You could dye that yarn exactly again. Oh, yeah. Of course. It's amazing. I, I know that. what I did. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd like to say that I take notes. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It comes out. Okay, so I got a new base. Um, I have one colorway in my old base that I can't get right now. I'll get it eventually again, but I have some skeins of black cats on my merino nylon 7525 base. I just have a couple. And I have a new base. And this is a super fine merino base. So it's my super fine merino um, 85-15% nylon base, and it's, I love this. It's perfect for socks or shawls. It's really soft. Gail mm. soft it is. Mm. I adore it. So I have this base in the yarn that I just showed you for the bag. That's that base. And, um, this is Halloween Town. And... I put a spell on you and I also have it I'll have it on slutty pumpkin but it's not dyed yet because it's sold out <laughs> so but I'll, I'm gonna dye more this weekend so yeah so if you so I have these colors individually and I have them in the in the sets the sets are the singles base the individual skeins are the sock base so and that's it for okay. today. Okay, well. You're so cute. I know. Yeah, why don't you take them? I'll take them. Put them on your lap for a while. Yeah, he doesn't like my lap mm. at all. Ah. He's going to be trying to get off for sure. Mm. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so what else is new there, Rich? I went through my stuff pretty quick. Oh, when you went for your run this morning, I took him for a walk. Yeah. And... That was nice. I'm going to do him, take him for a walk every morning. Yeah, and that way he doesn't poop in our house. Yes, but you make a big, big guy. I didn't 
no sooner than walked 10 feet and he yeah. made a big boop. You know, I, I take him out in the morning and he just sometimes doesn't want to go right this away. There's too much so, going on out here, um, I think. I think he likes to go after he eats. Mm. So I take him okay. out and he does his business. Well, I'll and then, take him out every morning from now on. Yeah. So that's cool. I go running. He, I, took, I think we talked about this before. Rich would come with me and walk him on the rail trail. He hates the rail trail. It's very stressful for him because there's too many bikes too and much, runners yeah, too much and going on. kids. Too much. He just he doesn't like it. So anyway, anything else going on? No, I guess we can. What about me? Oh shoot! Uh oh. Oh, no. Uh oh. Rogi, we have some bad news for you this week. I have to give my restaurant review. How come there was no music or fanfare for me? Oh. Well, we didn't go to a restaurant this week. Oh. So you can't give a review because we didn't go. I thought you were going to take me for some cheesecake. Mm. We... Yeah, but they said Danbury is the uh, uptick in the virus and people should avoid going there. So we didn't want to go. Oh. There's, there's coronavirus in Danbury. Oh. No, oh, you don't want to go there if there's that there. <laughs> oh, no. Do you know what that is? No, that don't sound good. <laughs> no. So we decided not to go out this week, at least not go, to go there. So mm. I'm sorry, Rogi, you didn't get to go get cheesecake. We, we, may, we may go to our favorite Oriental place tomorrow. Mm -hmm. and we'll bring you along. I don't think they're going to want a raccoon in a restaurant. I don't think we're going to bring you along to there. There's too many people there. So. No. Anyway. No, we have to bring them. I don't care what people. People like it. <laughs> right? You're a people person. I'm a people raccoon. Yes, I am. Thank uh, you. Thank, uh, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> You're a oh, people Oh, guess raccoon. what? Next week. What? Your friend is coming back. Who's my friend? A pork chop. Oh, that foul, vile man. <laughs> Little white sheep. Oh, no. She don't like me. She's I coming no back? Feet. Why? She hates you. Why is she coming? <gasps> How is she well, getting back from Europe? She's coming on a, a sheep boat. <laughs> a sheep boat. Well, I hope she doesn't get cooked for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> she was visiting relatives in the Shetland Islands. Oh, I wish mm -hmm. she would have taken us with her. I'd love to go to the Shetland Islands someday. So would I. A nice, peaceful, quiet, no one there. Someday. Except that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. That's what I want to hear at six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rogue. So maybe oh. maybe we'll take you this weekend. We'll take yeah, we'll take you to our Oriental place. They have raw fish there. Ooh. Oh. oh fish, that's my favorite words. Raw fish. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh, oh like please take fish. me, please. Please, I'll be good. I'll be good. All right. Jamie well, so hates you. fish, don't you? Jamie oh, does hey, not. Oh, hey, Jamie. How are you? <laughs> Where's my little friend? <laughs> Rogi, you're being very Jamie pleasant. Jamie likes me. Oh, he likes me. Oh, can He'd I like to you? eat you. <laughs> oh, he doesn't bite me. He bites that stupid sheep. Yeah. Yeah, he don't true. like pork chop. Mm -hmm. He likes you though. Oh boy, that's because I have glasses. He's jealous. He wants to get off my lap and get mm. on your lap. Oh, are you giving Rogi kisses? <laughs> that's super cute. <laughs> All right, Rogue, we'll, we'll let you know about this later. And well, we're not going to be back for a while, so you can have plenty of restaurant reviews to do. We're recording next week? No. What did I just say? We're on hiatus. <laughs> we're, on, we're on a hiatus. Although hi we might do a vlog. We're on a hiatus. Richie. What's that? <laughs> Sounds like something a doctor sticks in you, <laughs> in your hiatus. <laughs> oh dear. Could be, I don't know. <laughs> That's a nasty sounding word, hiatus. Rogi, maybe you'll appear in a vlog. Okay, I'll okay. appear in a vlog. What Whatever that, that is. What are you doing a vlog? <laughs> you talk like you're doing you now. You be yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. See you in a vlog. Bye, Rogi. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh, my God. Can we pose for a thumbnail? Keep going. Can we pose for a thumbnail? Oh, yes. With hold, who? hold Jamie, and I'm going to hold up some yarn. Okay. Okay, let's end the show. Let's end the show.
We hope you have a great week. Knit something beautiful. And cheers. And I got drunk for the first time. I thought I was cool. I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried to make a move. Want me to hand you Jamie? Yeah, when you come over here before you sit down. It's got a wet deck on all of that. <laughs> well, we just went pink, so it was a little weenie sweat, man. Now I'm going to get all over me. I'm going to have well, do you want me to weenie, keep Yorkie weenie dampness on me. <laughs> oh, I could tell this is going to be a good one today. Do you want me to No, leave just pick him? them up. Or else everybody else pisses on me. <laughs> this is terrible. Ah, oh yeah, he does. I just got it all over me too. Oh, good. I have to go wash my hands now. Touch his little wet wiener. Yes, hold on. <laughs> breeze. Louise, every little bee seems to whisper Louise. Okay, ready? I am ready. Oh, it's beautiful out. I can't wait to sit and do some knitting. I, I gotta go in the pools. Really? It's probably chilly in there. Probably gonna get, they're gonna shrink. Are you talking about <laughs> nasty things again? No, you're, you're going so cold. What do you know what happens to men? I don't know, I'm not a man. And I got drunk for the first time. I thought I was cool.